And I, I'm going to tell you before I say it that it enraged me. There is a definite anti-white feeling in the country right now. Oh, please. Yeah, that's what he said. You know, sir. No. Sir. Yeah, sir. <laughs> Nobody in your family was hung. Nobody in your family was chased because of the color of their skin. How dare you? There's no anti-white issue here. You are perpetrating anti-humanist issues here. Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, and Sonny Hostin had yet another meltdown. This one might be one of the worst ones that I've seen from Whoopi Goldberg about, guess who, once again, Donald Trump and white people. <laughs> this time, they're talking about an interview that Donald Trump recently did with Time Magazine, and Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar and the rest of The View absolutely lost their minds over this interview. Let's check this out. In a new <laughs> interview released this morning, you know who told Time Magazine what he would do if he gets back in the White House. Things like this. He's going to let states monitor a woman's pregnancy. Yeah. Think about that. <laughs> yeah. He's going to do what? 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 OK, I just did an episode. I just did a, a video talking about Joe Rogan and they talked about three letter agencies monitoring conversations you have on your phone and stuff like that. They they caught Tucker Carlson trying to have an interview with Vladimir Putin and they told him, hey, we know you're trying to do this. You know, can we get involved or whatever? Why? Like, I understand people complaining about that for privacy reasons. What is the big deal about a state monitoring a pregnancy? There's not much control that the woman can have over a pregnancy other than ruining the baby's life before it's ever born. You can either kill the baby with abortion. You can either, you know, smoke, drink, ruin the baby's life before it's born. What good things could you possibly do other than just chill and do like do nothing? You know, just don't do anything bad to the baby. I don't understand the big deal about that. Like Whoopi Goldberg said that like it was the most heinous crime she's ever seen. I don't get the big deal. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. Deploy the military to deport migrants. And Sounds then, based. That's very based. So point for Donald Trump there. Mexicans are going to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to absolutely consider pardoning January 6 rioters. Of course. of course. Now, he was also asked if he thinks there will be political violence if he loses. And he answered, it depends. Is he referring to something? Notice something very, very important here. They're not playing the interview. Instead, we have to take Whoopi Goldberg's word of what Donald Trump was saying in this interview, because I guarantee you, I haven't watched that interview. It just came out this morning. I guarantee you, if we watch that interview with Donald Trump that The View is talking about here, that Whoopi Goldberg is acting like it's the worst interview of all time, I guarantee you he doesn't just say, oh, will there be political violence if you don't win? Oh, it depends. I guarantee you that's not all that's said. I guarantee you that's, that's taken out of context on purpose to make Donald Trump look bad on The View. It's not like I have to probably convince you that that's the case. I'm sure you're probably thinking the same thing because that's what The View does. That's what Whoopi Goldberg and the rest of these dumb, you, you, you know, I, I don't want to say the word, but <laughs> that's what the rest of these people on The View do consistently. I think he was wearing. <laughs> you're on fire already. <laughs> you know, so is, is this, I mean, there's also, this is my favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to tell you before I say it that it enraged me. There is a definite anti-white feeling in the country right now. Oh, please. Yeah, that's what he said. You know, sir. No. Sir. Yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody in your family was hung. Nobody in your family was chased because of the color of their skin. How dare you? There's no anti-white issue here. You are perpetrating anti-humanist issues here. Yeah, you tell them, Whoopi. I don't even know what the hell that means. I'll be honest with you. I don't understand. Like, usually I can use context clues, especially with somebody as dumb as Whoopi Goldberg is stating words. For anti-humanist, like, I kind of understand what that could mean, right? Like, you're, you're anti-human, maybe like anti-human rights. What was said that is anti-human rights that Donald Trump would do, even taken out of context, even taking Whoopi Goldberg's word for what Donald Trump said in this interview, I still don't know what the hell could be anti-humanist about the interview. 
I think there's no doubt. Let me know in the comments if I'm completely wrong. There is an anti-white sentiment across the United States. Like th there's just no way you can deny that, right? Like there's 100% an anti-white sentiment, but it's crazy how people, the view will have people like Coleman Hughes on their show who say, we shouldn't worry about the color of people's skin. We shouldn't worry about people being black or Mexican or any any sort of minority group or anything like that. If we want to help them socioeconomically, we should just look at their class and don't care about the color of their skin and just help people based on where they are in their class. And they go crazy and call him a charlatan and a puppet for the right wing. And they think he's completely wrong. It doesn't make any sense because then when Trump says, you know, there's a there's an anti-white sentiment then they go back to Whoopi goldberg and sonny haas and the rest of them go back to why are we looking at race so much why do you care about you know so much about race and stuff like that anti-humanist and, and shit like that it's, it's ridiculous man so the question is he's about to cry is is this is he the future is he the future well i gotta ask yeah you know, that's the gig, they pay me. So I, I read this big time interview this mm -hmm. morning and it's Trump in his own words saying these scary things, but <laughs> I wasn't as taken aback as I should be because for the last four years, myself, others who spoke out against him have been saying literally- Because he's literally Hitler. Line by line, what he's saying in his own words in this piece. Mm -hmm. And it's, it is devastating to me that that is not res resonating with Republicans, a party I've been a member of my whole life, that they're just not believing it. Yeah. The other day, Bill Barr, the former attorney general, was asked about something I had stated where Trump said that somebody should be executed because mm -hmm. they leaked a bad story about right. him. And he basically was like, I don't. If you enjoy content like this and make sure you leave a like and subscribe, it really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Recall that. But on other occasions, he said stuff like that. But we shouldn't take him literally. No, the things he says we should take literally. And I've said this a thousand times. There won't be guardrails next time. There won't be Mark Esper. There won't be John Kelly. Which he there says won't in be the Jim Mattis. That article. He says he's going to only hire loyalists and people mm -hmm. who say that the last election is stolen. So he's admitting he's going to staff a White House and the entire federal government with either liars or lunatics. Mm -hmm. It is very scary. And I just want to underscore because I want Trump to lose. He and Joe Biden are neck and neck. It is very real that in seven months we will wake up to President-elect Donald Trump, and that should be scary for every American. It is scary. It's very scary stuff. And also, you know, he, you, when a child sets a house on fire, you don't give them another book of matches. Right. He already was terrible as a president. Thousands and thousands of people died. And what? Oh, hold on. Let's hear her out. Real. I was going to pause and start talking, but what the hell is she about to say right here? COVID under his watch. Okay. <laughs> what the... <laughs> Do you guys remember back there in 2020, 2021, that area? I guess it was more in 2020. That's when the last election was. Do you guys remember that everybody said, you know, there's that famous video of Kamala Harris and Joe Biden and every single leftist, every single Democrat making that video saying, I will not take the Trump jab. Like they said that over and over and over again. And Donald Trump still to this day is proud that he came up with the jab. And a lot of his supporters are mad at him about it because he keeps promoting it. Donald Trump locked down the entire country. The entire country was locked down. We couldn't leave their house except for essential workers or whatever. What more could he have done to stop people from dying from that virus? There's nothing else that he could have done. He did everything that the Democrats would have done. In fact, he did so much that the Democrats said what he was doing is dangerous because they want to win the next election. They said they would never take the Trump jab. Then Joe Biden takes office and everybody's basically forced to get it. And now they're blaming this, the CV deaths on Trump. <laughs> These people are just absolute lunatics. I don't know why I'm trying to actually argue with the view with logic and facts when they don't care about any of those things. They just have their little narratives in their head and they're going to run with it. And, you know, and a lot of these kids who are protesting, I think that they don't understand because they're saying that kids under 26 year olds and under are not feeling Bi President Biden. Mm -hmm. you know? Boy, I wonder why. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that major cities are going downhill like crazy. People are literally taking crabs in the streets everywhere you look in a lot of these major cities. The migrant issue, the border crisis is insane. The worst it's ever been. And I can't imagine it getting worse under Trump. You know, there's war everywhere across the globe because whenever when America is weak, everybody starts to move on their own agenda. I can't imagine the thing getting much worse. You know, the economy is horrible. And of course, it's going to start to bounce back as the election comes. You know, interest rates will drop and, and, and things like that. The stock market will go up because it's it's almost election time. But it, I mean, I don't, I don't like saying things like this. So knock on wood, but how much worse could it get under Trump?
No? And this type of protest that we talk about, we talked about it yesterday, I think that that will put Trump right back into the White House. So they better be careful what they want, because these are the, this is the generation that's going to lose their abortion rights and their voting rights. Dumbass. People aren't caring about that right now. Don't, nobody cares about abortion rights right now when most young people who are under 26 can't afford a house because they're so damn expensive and, you know, the, the economy is so horrible. How, like, I, bro, to this... You know, I'm an above average earner, I would say, you know, and I, I I hate saying stuff like that. It makes me sound so like cringe, but I'm an above average earner. And when I look at the price of things, I look at my friends who work, you know, normal jobs making like whatever, like 5K a month. I'm like, how the hell do people who work those jobs support a family? Like, how do you have a car, possibly multiple of them if your wife doesn't work? How do you have children, possibly multiple of them? How do you have a house? I don't understand. How do you afford all these things? It's, it's basically impossible. And that's what 26 and unders are looking at. And they're saying, dude, please bring Trump back. It was way more fun. The stock market was more fun. Buying cars was more fun. Buying houses was actually possible at our age. Like, bring him back, please. Right. So they're the ones to be worried. You don't replace dissatisfaction with a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I hope that... Um... <laughs> I, I, what, what, what I am... Um... I agree with Alyssa in, in, in the sense that everyone's been saying this is what he thinks, this is what he does, uh, or, or will do rather, and I'm, I'm happy he said the quiet part out loud. If you vote for him, you know exactly what you're getting. Another thing that he said was this. He said, uh, I don't have my reading glasses on, excuse me. He said yeah, that, yeah. Um, yeah. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we share. He said, oh, he no. said that uh, th there are his allies are laying the groundwork to restructure the presidency in line with the doctrine called the unitary executive mm -hmm. theory. That means king, right? Oh, and yeah. our very framers of this country, it's so anti-American, our very framers were running away from that business model, right? That's they right. wanted to make sure, the founders, that there were three branches and that they had co-equal power. It's the judicial, for those that didn't take civics, <laughs> judicial <laughs> branch, legislative branch, ex a branch, executive branch, and there is a system of checks and balances. He wants to destroy that, everyone. But I actually, Alyssa, It's already destroyed. Let's be real. It's already destroyed. We have Biden trying to throw Trump in jail just simply for being his political opponent. I mean, it's already destroyed. Come on. You know, and instead of voting for Trump because he has mean tweets, says, says some things that he actually speaks his mind in interviews instead of just saying the scripted things that everybody else is given, all the other candidates are given. Instead of voting for Donald Trump, we're going to vote for four more years. Pause. Let me know in the comments what you think about this episode of The View, this this episode of yet another meltdown from The View about Donald Trump and about whiteness in America or whatever the hell Whoopi Goldberg was, was crying about. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about this whole situation.